Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ben Dover. The good one, Dr. Ben Dover. Yes, let's move up the mic. Take it away, Doc. Sometimes when my patients can't sleep, I like to tell them a little Terry fail to put them to sleep. And this is a story of Rinder Sella. It goes, Tents upon a Hwaim in a corn country, there lived a beautiful Hmong maiden named Rinder Sella. Now, Rinder Sella lived their muggly other and her two sad bisters. As it so happened, a Pransom Hence ruled this corn country. And all these advisors came together and said, Pransom Hence, the people are starting to talk about you living by yourself, so we want you to bake a tried. So he stayed up all night long and thought about how he was going to bake this tried, and finally it came to him. He'd throw himself a bancy fall and invite all the beautiful Hmong maidens in the corn country to woe to it, and whichever one he fancied, he baked for his tried. So it came time for the night of the bancy fall, and Rinder Sella's muggly other cheered her Billy Rad, and she says, Rinder Sella, you can't go to the Prince Mince's bancy fall. So as a muggly other and two sad bisters boogied off to the ball, they left Rinder Sella in the corner kind. on the <laughs> Well, she hadn't been gone five minutes, and who should appear but Gary Fodmother. Now, Gary walks in, and he says, Rinder Sella, car you whine, you gilly Seuss. And she says, well, my muggly other and two sad bisters went to Prince Mince's bancy fall and me woe to it. He said, well, silly. He said, silly, we can fix all that. Go outside and get me six Mike Weiss and a cun pump. So off she goes outside. Six what? Six Mike what? Weiss and a cun pump. Oh, good. So she brings him back, and before her very eyes, Gary turned the six Mike White into six Bancy forces and the cun pump into a cancy fairage. He said, now, Rinder Sella, we've just got to do something about the way you look, dear. So he turned her cattered toes into a beautiful bound, and he hitched her fair all up, and when he got done, she looked Billy beautiful. He said, hey. <laughs> He said, Rinder Sella, just remember Thun Wang. Have your bum home my nid mite. So off she goes to the Bansy Fall. <laughs> Having arrived at the Bansy Fall, about 10 minutes, a prancing hen looks across the Bansy Fall room and spies Rinder Sella. Well, of course, he lolls and fell around the spot. So he runs over. <laughs> Grabs Rinder Sella by the arm, they start dancing and dancing the night away. And you know when you're lolling in fuv, time will get away from you. And all of a sudden the clock struck midnight, and she said, excuse me, Pransom Hence, and she rook off tunnin' for the stairs. Well, she got to the bottom of the stairs, she had a problem that befalls most beautiful Hmong Yadens when they get in a hurry. She got to the bottom, and the worst possible thing happened, she slapped her dripper. So, <laughs> she was in such a hurry, she couldn't get back and get it. So she jumped into the Cansey Ferriage, and about halfway home, it turned back into a cun pum and dropped in the riddle of the mode, and she had to walk the rest of the way home. So the next morning, like all good conscientious Pransom Henses, he gets up to clean up the Bancy Fall Room and finds his slop dripper at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> he says, Harkin, alas, this slop dripper must belong to the Hmong Yadin I lolled in fub with last night. <laughs> I'm going to take this out into my corn function, whichever Hmong Yadin's foot it fit, I'm going to bake her for my tried. So off he goes. Having no luck, he arrives at Rinder Sella's house. First of all, the muggly other comes running out, and the prance man takes a slop dripper and tries on her foot. Of course, it fit and did. Then they <laughs> bring out her two sad bisters and try on each one of them, and it fit and did either one of them either. Finally, they bring out Rinder Sella. She was back in the corner kind. She was really a manic depressant. So <laughs> the prance of hens takes a slop dripper and puts it on Rinder Sella's foot, and lo and behold, it fit did. So he baked her for his tried right on the spot and lived apple ever after. Now, the sorrel the more he is, if you're a beautiful Hmong Yad and you're gonna go to a Bansy Fall and lull and fell with the Prance and Hence, whatever you do, don't forget to slop your dripper. <laughs>